the fir tree. Deep inside the forest, there stood a small fir tree. He stood at a place pretty and free. The sun shone bright, and the windy blew soft. His leaves ruffled. The trees that surrounded it were tall and strong. The fir tree hated that it was looked down upon, quite literally. Oh, good morning, little one. Look how beautiful the day is incoming. Here come the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed, Bob. It's a clear sky. I can already see some humans coming our way. It's a picnic day for them. Oh, what is so beautiful about this morning? The birds aren't circling me. I am so small. I can't even see who is coming to us. I wish I were taller. I could see the houses and the world outside. Hey, you will grow. We all do. Time doesn't stop for anyone. It won't stop even when you want it to. So enjoy what you have right now. You won't be this little ever again. The only thing that sounded good to my ears is that I will never stay this little ever again. You don't know how it feels. Oh, <laughs> because you think we were never little? When we were little, the sun could hardly reach us. Remember, Bob, how thick the forest was? I do. I could hardly stretch my twigs. Ah, oh, the good old days. Such a beautiful day it is. Look at that cute little tree. What is this mark? Maybe someone wanted this tree to remember it. Oh, I'm not surprised. It is so small and cute. It is the baby of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> How they made fun of me by calling me a baby. That was harmless. They loved you. Ah! Ah! Oh! Silly rabbit. See? Was that harmless too? He didn't even notice I was here. Well, if he hadn't noticed you, then how come he hopped right over? You are making fun of me only because I am small. Right. That's why it's funny. It has nothing to do with how cute you look. Oh, I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Oh, say it again, will you? I don't think I heard you clearly. Oh, enough, Marley. Stop troubling him. Listen, be happy with what you have. Deforestation has taken away a lot from us. The what? The what? Deforestation. They uproot us. It means the humans take trees out along with their roots to clear the land. That land is then made into farms and other things. Sounds scary. It is. So... I have to grow taller before that, right? Oh, that's what he got from this story? You have to learn to be happy with what you have, kid. But the baby tree wanted to grow, grow, and grow through spring, summer, and snow. The coming years were generous on the tree. For he grew one joint, and a joint after that. But yet he was sad, he didn't feel free. For he wanted to grow bigger and faster. Yeah, that's right, rabbit. Go on, walk away. I will grow taller. Believe me, you will miss all of this someday. Just then, 
the humans came to do what they did best. Smack and smack they hit their axe and down all the trees lay. The big green trees were reduced to mere stumps. Oh, where are they taking you? Our time has come. Remember, stay happy with what you have. But, but, what will they do to you? Hello? He felt too bad. Now that he began to care, the pain of his friends gone was indeed too much to bear. He was all alone now. No more trees to chatter with. The sun came as always, the wind blew as always, and yet the tree was sad. Mm, I wish I could go with them. Why didn't the humans take me? Am I grown up now? What do I do alone in this forest? Months passed without the sign of his friends. The tree grew lonelier and unhappier with each passing day. But then, one day, a stork came around. The birds told me they were looking for your friends. I may have seen them. They are now made into big masts of great ships, which sail at the sea. The ships travel the world. What? They get to travel? And here I was worried for them. Why didn't the humans take me? I want to travel the world. They told me they miss home. Nonsense. Why would anybody miss this boring place? They are all at sea. Uh, what's the sea? That would take too long to tell. I can't wait. Farewell. No, wait. What happened to the other trees? I know. I saw them in these huge houses. They looked splendid. They were all decorated and bedazzled. Bedazzled? Then? Then? Tell me what happens next! Um, we don't know. Honestly, we never saw them after that. Oh, I am sure they are someplace beautiful, looking shiny and all. Unaware of tomorrow, but waiting for it eagerly, the tree waited and waited and waited. One more year passed, and finally, the day came for the tree to leave its home. Ha! Humans! They will definitely take me! Ah! This hurts more than I thought! But it is all going to be good now. I am going to have a big and bright future! The tree was taken to a big house. There, they placed him in a tub and put sand around him. And soon it began. The decoration, the bedazzling, the tree shone like a jewel. If that wasn't enough, they put a star on the top of him. It was perfect. Quickly, let's put the presents under it. Oh my, is that me? I am beautiful. I wonder what happens next. <laughs> Wow, this tree is so beautiful. I have never seen anything like it. Yes, I had to look around a lot for this one. Did you hear that? They were looking for me. I am special. <coughs> the children danced around the tree. They jumped with joy. Then they sat under it and asked their father to tell them a story. <laughs> okay. Yesterday, it was a Vetti a Vetti. So today, Humpty Dumpty it is. Once upon a time, there was an egg as big as you. This is a story that is not known to just a few. Ah, <sighs> morning. I wonder what more is going to happen today. More bedazzling? More stories? More dancing? But no one came. The doors stood closed. Some time passed. The sun was now shining bright, yet no one came. No, they can't forget me. I am the most beautiful tree. I am special. Ah, here she comes. I knew it. What's going to happen? 
No! Why are you taking it out? Ow! 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 Where are you taking me? Ow! Ow! What? That's it? What did I do to them to put me here? Ah, <sighs> wait. This can't be. It's still snowing. The ground is hard. Maybe they will plant me again when the snow melts. They are so thoughtful. Winter passed. The snow melted. But the tree was still there, in the corner of the attic. Oh, Bob was right. I miss the forest. I miss the sun and the wind. If only they get me out in the open again. I miss fresh air. Hi, old tree. What makes you think I am old? There are older trees from where I came. Really? Where did you come from? <sighs> the forest. The beautiful, beautiful forest. Forest? We have never been there. Tell us all. The tree was happy to share. As he narrated the tale, more mice came and listened. He talked about the sun and the wind. He talked about Bob and how much he missed Marley and his hearty laughter. He talked about Susan and her wise nature. He talked about the rabbit and how he always hopped over. It's strange, but I am not annoyed at the rabbit anymore. I would love to have him hop over me again and again. Whoa, whoa. You must have been so happy there. Ah, <sighs> I was. I just never realized it. I was busy complaining about all the things I didn't have. My friends were right. I should have enjoyed it till it lasted. That's the only story you have. Ah, <sighs> I also have the story of Humpty Dumpty I heard when I was shining and young. And so he told them how he was brought home and how he shone. He then narrated the story of Humpty Dumpty just like he had heard it. An egg married the princess? Really? Who do you think we are to believe that? You don't know the story that tells about bacon and candles? Uh, no. I have never heard it. Ugh, I am leaving. And so, all the mice left. <sighs> well, it was good while it lasted. Oh, I am going to be planted again? Please take me out to the open, just like my forest. But a horrid future awaited the fir tree. Ow! Oh, oh not again! Ow, 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 ow! Why? Do they have stairs? Ow, ow! Oh, fresh air, sun, wind. Oh, I want nothing more. I have never been so happy in my entire life. It really is so easy to appreciate what we have. Bring on the last piece of wood. Let's burn it. The tree was now happy with his life and ready to go into the fire. Just then, yo, oh, wait, this is my tree. What do you mean your tree, Grandpa? You see this, Mark? I planted this tree in the forest when I was as little as you are now. The trees had started to disappear. I was scared. Do you know we won't have fresh air if there are no trees? Also, if we cut down forests, there will be no rain. No rain? Then what do we do? We do exactly what I did back then. Let's go to the forest and plant more trees. We need to appreciate and respect what we have, children. Else there will come a day when there is no forest, no fresh air, and no rain. That's a fine thought. What do you want me to do with this tree? Ah, I know what to do with it. I know exactly what it wants. And did he know? The fir tree was transformed into a wooden door to the old man's house. He loved to welcome his human. He greeted him every time he came back home. He welcomed the sun every morning and smiled brightly at the wind. He talked to the birds who sat at the porch. 
He sang with the swallows. The tree was happy for what he had, and he was happier for the spectacular view. For the old man and the kids had done a fantastic job by planting more trees. The forest was now greener than ever. The tree had learned his lesson, and so had the humans. <laughs> <laughs>